What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. So today's topic in hand is Walmart. No, I am not sponsored by them. Yes, I do go there sometimes to pick up some Red Bulls. But besides that, uh, this isn't for referrals or anything like that. So let's get that out of the way right now. The thing that I want to talk about is why is it that Walmart damn near pays $100,000 for company drivers and still they have a retention problem? And, you know, the reason I know that is my buddy Walmart, Rob, and I have done collaborations and he showed me his money. And here's something that we did last year, but it's pretty accurate. I've talked to people off camera, but here's something on camera for you guys to see that it is true. Well, Walmart Rob from YouTube reaches out and says, look, I'm an company driver. I'm over 80,000. If you see the breakdown, you get paid for everything from live unload to detention to unhooking to everything. And that's why he makes so much money at Walmart because you know how many times people out here are just sitting in the truck and not getting paid for what they're worth? I mean, you can't really put a value on our life, but they're getting paid for every single thing that they do. And that's why they make a good living. From that, why is it that a lot of drivers still don't want to work for them? The money seems good. They're home all the time, you know, so what is it? And I think it has to do with just the, the culture there, right? The corporate aspect, um, uh, them uh, having dash cam, you know, cameras viewing out, even though they're not viewing in, uh, wearing uniforms, uh, someone telling you what to do. But honestly, people are going to tell you what to do wherever you go. Okay, it's a, it's a job. It's always going to feel the way. Unless you work for yourself as an owner-operator, uh, you're not going to have uh, that benefit of the doubt to wear what you want. Now, the other part is the phone policy. Right, and, you know, the phone policy back then, I've done interviews, I talked to my friends that work at Walmart, and they said it was crazy back then. Uh, you know, during an 11-hour shift of driving in a 14-hour day, they can talk up to a total of one hour when on shift, okay, when on duty, in 10-minute intervals. And people just hated that shit. I mean, that just sucks, you know. If I want to talk to my family, I'm going to talk to my family. Well, Heavy Hall in Full actually sends me this video of Mad Max this is his TikTok video. Go subscribe to Mad Max. Go subscribe to Heavy Hall and Full. Go hit up my guy, Walmart Rob. I mean, support all these people for making this video happen. But the policy has changed. So they're wiping away from this one hour, 10 minute interval on duty talking time to just, you can talk as long as you're being safe about it and as long as you're not doing it in school zones, construction zones, or high level of traffic. Walmart forbids texting in any form, including voice to text, while operating a commercial motor vehicle. Walmart prohibits wireless communication use in an environment or situation where talking can distract from the safe completion of the task at hand. This can include driving in heavy traffic, construction zones, school zones, or adverse weather conditions. Drivers cannot use cell phones while performing job-related activities such as pre- or post-trip inspections or in environments where you must practice the sterile cab. Drivers who maintain a good safety record and do not violate this policy will no longer have a specific limit for length of calls or total minutes in a workday. We believe that our experienced drivers know how to set appropriate limits on when to talk and for how long. Starting immediately, drivers with a poor safety record will continue to be limited to no more than 10 minutes of communication at any one time and no more than 60 minutes total in a workday. If a driver has a preventable collision, they will be subject to these same time limits for one year. Specific unsafe behaviors are defined in the policy and available on one Walmart. There is one final change I'd like to highlight. Drivers terminated for violations of this policy may be eligible for a rehire one year after date of termination. This includes drivers terminated in the past as well as in the future. We hear you. We know that staying connected with your family, friends, and with each other is important, and we want you to have more of an opportunity to stay in touch. This change, like the retention bonus and schedule changes that have been made, help promote driver retention. We are proud to have an organization where drivers wish to remain with our company. This change will also help us attract new drivers to join us for a long Walmart career. Updating this policy is another way of showing how important you are to our company's success. But 
you know, uh, Walmart drivers, comment down below. Tell me if that's right or wrong. But still, when Mad Max put that out, a lot of people on TikTok were still like, forget it, man. You know, they didn't even know that they had some sort of phone policy like that. And because of that, they still wouldn't work there. And I'll be the first to tell you that uh, Walmart, I don't know if they're hurting or not hurting, but I went to the Wapon Truck Show and they were at the Wapon Truck Show. And you guys know my ass goes to all the truck shows and my ass has never seen Walmart recruiting at any truck show. So you know they're hurting for drivers. So I think this is definitely a ploy to uh, get more drivers, you know, um, knocking down that crazy phone policy. But comment down below. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this. You know, if you were wanting to provide for your family, you know, eighty-seven to hundred thousand dollars a year as a company driver, you get a full whole bunch of rules. But would that be worth it to you? Well, you know, for me personally, it would not. But maybe for you, it might be. I mean, a lot of people they they don't really get into trucking because they love trucking. They get into trucking because they want to provide for their family. I don't see a problem with that either. 